Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are shooting at my favorite Ascot Makati. If you guys haven't seen my videos with them, I will link them up here and the rest will be linked in the description box below. I also have a special surprise with them, but I will be announcing that on my Instagram, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, I can't believe it's already September. We have already entered the burr months. I'm already gonna start panicking about shopping for Christmas. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it is about time for us to do our monthly favorites. And some will probably be very obvious to you guys, but I just have to get it off my chest. I have been loving a lot of these items this month. And if you guys haven't joined the family already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you guys will get notified every time I have a new video. And with that, let's get started. Favorite number one is probably the most obvious to you guys. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then it'll be very obvious that my new pink Balenciaga boots are my top favorite this month. Um, first of all, they're really soft and like, <sighs> oh my god, I don't want to get contour on them because <laughs> they're so expensive. But I did wear these a lot during New York Fashion Week and even here around Manila and just any opportunity I can get because one, if you're gonna spend that much for boots, Boots, you might as well really love them. The color is amazing. It adds just that perfect pop of color with every outfit I seem to have put on. And what I love about them the most is that during New York Fashion Week, I really had to run around a lot from uptown to midtown, downtown, east to west. It was a lot of running, a lot of getting on subways. And the streets in New York aren't very even, so I definitely had to be in comfortable shoes. I was worried that these were gonna hurt me a lot, but I had them on from 8 a.m. in the morning morning till 10 p.m. at night and I had zero pain so these definitely have to make the cut and these are favorite number one. Favorite number two has a little bit of sentimental value, <laughs> um, but not really. It was just a really cool memory that I had also from New York. I got to go to the private launch of MAC Cosmetics and Nicki Minaj's collaboration for her nude lipsticks and I have been wearing these every day lately. You can wear them on your own or what I do is I'll wear like a darker shade underneath and then I'll put this on top to kind of lighten the color and get me that perfect mix of like pink undertones but still get a nude feel to whatever lipstick I'm wearing. So she has two colors with MAC Cosmetics but my favorite is Nikki's Nude and it comes in this Oh my god. And it comes in this really cute pastel bullet. The color is amazing. Like I said, you can wear it on your own and it's already great. Perfect for a smoky eye. Also perfect for wearing day to night. I do like to mix and match lipsticks though, that's just me. But this is an awesome color. And also, fun fact, this is the second collaboration Nicki Minaj has had with MAC Cosmetics. And MAC actually mentioned at the event that they never do part twos of collaborations. Like if they've done a collaboration with an artist before, they sort of just move on with another artist but I guess Nikki just knows her lipstick and knows the market so they had to do another collab with her and I gotta say girl she killed it with this color Favorite number three is also something I have been loving and you guys seem to have also loved because every time I put this on my lids, you guys always ask what I'm wearing or for a tutorial on how I do my look. So for this month's favorite number three, I have the Pure Pro X Etienne palette, which has one, two, three, four, five, six times three, 18. Is that correct? <laughs> Oops, math. 18 really cool shades. This is actually perfect for the fall. I have them on my lids right now. If you guys want a tutorial on this look, then you can check out the video I'm gonna be releasing next week, if I'm not mistaken. The colors are really perfect for fall. They're very warm, a lot of metallics, some mattes as well. It's a good balance of mattes and metallics, I have to say. Although what I did notice on the runway from New York Fashion Week was that a lot of metallics are coming back this season and next season so if you guys want to be ahead of the curve and want to get a look like this then check out the Pure Pro X Etienne palette and I'll put the link of how you guys can get it in the description box below. Alright, favorite number four is another thing I've been loving and been wearing a lot. Basically, when I love something, I really use it up until like I'm just so sick of it or I really want to get my money's worth. I mean, obviously, it's true testament. If I have been wearing a lot, then it's pretty obvious that I love it. So you guys will believe me when I say that favorite number four are my new off-white earrings. The right, or you can interchange them actually. One is an O and one is a W and I've worn them a lot. I wore them in New York. 
I've been wearing them this week and next week and I'll probably be wearing them up until forever. I don't know, up until I'm obsessed with another pair of earrings, but they're just really cool. Sometimes actually you can wear them interchangeably or I'll just wear the O with a stud or you could just wear the W. It's really up to you. Off-White has really been killing it with some really cool pieces this month. I wish I could buy everything in their collection, but alas, right now all I have are the earrings. I will work on getting more pieces, but this month favorite number four are my OW earrings. Favorite number five, and last but not least, is another fashion find that I have been wearing a lot. A lot of people have been using this on Instagram. It seems to be everywhere lately, and I'm so happy I got myself a pair because they sold out like that. So, I'm obviously talking about my Adam Selman X La Specs sunglasses. I really love the retro vibe of these shades. Um, generally, I used to be more obsessed with bigger shades just because they tend to cover like more of my tired skin when I don't have any sleep, but these are just so cool and very in season, very now. I'm actually pretty happy that one of my friends got the red one as well because now we can just interchange and share sunglasses. Um, a lot of you guys have also been asking where I have been getting these, so this is the answer <laughs> to everyone who has been DMing me on Instagram and tweeting me and commenting. These shades are from La Specs, but they're the Adam Selman collection. So these are favorite number five. And that's it for my monthly favorites. If you guys like this video, then please do hit the thumbs up button. Leave some love in the comment section below. And as usual, don't forget to join the family and hit that subscribe button so that I'll see you guys in my next video.